Hello. So here we are with some more expression tools. Oh boy, I haven't used this one in a long time. Natural charcoal and a few other things here. So today I wish to talk about the sense of confusion that we often fall prey to, often from childhood onwards. It's, in my opinion, something like we get born as almost like Buddhas with a strong electric EM field around our head and around our body. And we like this. I hope this is visible. Probably not, but let's see what can be done. So, yeah. Uh, next video, we'll take flatter paper. So we get born like this, with a sense of basically lightness, enlightenment. We like everything makes sense, and let's see, like this maybe, and <laughs> that tip. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm, I'm running anyway. Um, so it is like this, and then. It's almost like there's another force in the universe that goes maybe opposite to this stuff. And it's literally a form of constant delay and stupidity, like down here. It's If this works, if this is, let's say, electrically conductive, it's like oh, high energy and spontaneous and everything then this thing would be the, the delay, the bitch, the um, factor that just goes, uh, uh, no. Uh. So this would be electrical um, insulation. And these things have different kinds of neurology. And while your brain is fully like this, you're basically like, like Jesus and the Buddha and any sort of enlightened master, or children for that, that matter. Because they... They do express the stuff. The sounds that they make are sounds consistent with a person, a, a body running on high voltage. So that is, it doesn't have the low voltage blocks and crap that would be present here that makes this body low voltage so that the electricity can flow from the base of the spine to the head. Now, the process, as I understand it, is we get born really wise, we're really spontaneous and responsive to everything around us, and then if we hang out with people who are more like this, more in the dark side, more blah, and depleted of that youthful energy, then we ourselves develop these things, and they, they drag us down. So all, the whole of life is like, a, is like a going up and down, up and down like this. And... Hopefully, we find our way back into the light, if that makes sense. Back into the light, back into the high energy, back into the high health, high vibration, high... Like, hoo -hoo! And I think this is also what males and females do for each other. Because if you're a guy living alone and you have no hopes and dreams and no nothing, you can basically afford to be a dirty slob, a, a lazy bum, a fat loser or whatever it is, and if you see something that sparks your interest, and notice the electric nature of it, it sparks your interest, it raises your interest, um, then you will be interested in cleaning up, in sort of starting to show your best side, your better side, which is energetic, and it is open, and perceptive, and attentive, and persistent, and so on and so forth. So, um, these things will have, so this would be the state of confusion and the state of attentional dispersion, where nothing's all that interesting and blah, blah, whatever, all blah, whatever. And this one would be more the state of focus, and especially focus in the right here, right now. This is more consistent with uh, high TPN neurologically. 
brought on by either meditation or psychedelics, or both, high TPN activity, task positive network. And this one would be more consistent with high DMN, where you're di uh, if this focuses you right here in the present, right here, right now, this one would be dispersed into a myriad of directions, both past and future, but not really here and not really now. And generally also negative, because um, the negativity is a way that our brain has to keep postponing action. If you feel that nothing is worth doing, then your best bet is to f your, your best bet is to form opinions that say everything has a bad side, everything has whatever. And I feel that for long, long stretches of time, either during the day or throughout the years, I look back and I see how I, I've been falling into this sort of pattern. So I, from here to here, and then through whatever situations happen, I will be going back here, up here. So it's like the endless cycle of falling from grace, from here, from the open eye, into the closed eye of ignorance, of fear, negativity, and so on and so forth. And here we have clean food and water and um, connection with nature and with each other. And down here we have alcohol and cigarettes and heroin and opium and all that stuff, which basically are um, ways to make a reality that to the observer looks shitty, ways to make it seem or feel sweeter than it is. And these are lazy ways that just that depend on a chemical, that depend on some sort of sugar or something that, that triggers dopamine. Like because you can't make your own dopamine just from the way you look at things. And um, what I'm looking to do with this sort of expression is clarify to myself and hopefully to others how there are these amazing ways of just going from here to here that aren't so difficult and, and they're very much available and you don't even need um, all that much. It, it, they may involve money or not. They may involve food changes or not. They may involve very simple things like breath and sound and things that are just free to do or to be around. What am I saying here? This will require, I think, at least some input from you boys and girls, so that we can uh, get this info systematized a little bit. So this guy would be a guy that's filled with magic, with electro magic. This this would be a, a neural network that's full in all its sides, in all its corners, certainly fuller. This one would be an electro electrical like a neural network that's mostly empty, that's always firing and never really getting enough accurate accurate data to fire well. It's as if if the whole universe plays a symphony, this guy would listen a lot and just play the notes when he knows what the others are singing about. This guy would just ramble on with any sort of instrument. And it's something that you can actually recognize if you listen for it in the way drunks speak, or smokers for that matter, the way they will be a sentence in the air and they will speak, speak in the middle of it, often without realizing what they're doing consciously. Um, these guys may speak in the middle of it as well, but more consciously, if something needs to be interrupted, if something does take the energy down, if it's full of negativity and it's negativity expressed. Um, what else do we have here? How does this work? The dark spots are areas of basically where we have put the junk that we don't know how to deal with and we withdraw energy from there. So there's energy flowing in this guy, there's positive energy flowing just around these spots. But the more they are, the more the total voltage of the system will be down. So the breath will have to be reduced in order to keep energy flowing just like this. Because if you take even one proper breath on a system like this that's full of junk, 
electricity will come from the base of the spine and upwards and it will hit all of these points and you will start to notice them. You will start to notice the anger about your mom or dad being a bitch when, when you were growing up or your girlfriend or your boss or the fact that you may hang out in crap company. And so to avoid this constantly, one has to breathe really... Uh, and to always make sure that they dissipate this electricity that's coming up by things like the ADHD dance, like uh, restlessness and all that. And so I'm saying, I notice myself falling into these patterns sometimes, and I notice ways to get out. And I'm looking to just explore this more and see what comes out. Okay, so much for now. Thanks for watching.